Bakers, Kelly here, and this week's PLB video tutorial is perfect for springtime and Easter Sunday. And since I can't get enough of pretzels and chocolate, we're gonna be making the cutest pretzel chickies and pretzel bunnies. These pretzel snacks are the perfect mixture of sugary sweet with a little bit of salt from the pretzel. Plus, they're super easy to make and they're sure to put a smile on your face before, while, and after eating them. The best part is we're only working with pretzels and chocolate. Granted, we do have a couple colors of chocolate, but still, we're just sticking with pretzels and chocolate. Originally, I was gonna cut off a piece of an orange starburst to act as the pretzel chickie's nose, but then I realized, wow, I always avoid orange and yellow starbursts and go straight for the red and pink ones, don't we all? So why on earth would I wanna include an orange starburst on top of my chocolate-covered pretzel? Absolutely not, no way, never, what? no. And after that 15 second play by play occurred in my mind, I decided nope, we are sticking to pretzels and chocolate. So let's hop right into the kitchen. It's so corny, but I like it. Anyway, let's get to making these pretzel bunnies and chickies. To make pretzel bunnies and pretzel chickadee dee dees, you'll need a ton of pretzels and a couple different colored chocolate melts. As you can see, I have more white and yellow chocolate melts than I do black, pink, and orange melts. For the pretzel chick's eyes, we'll be using mini chocolate chips, and I've also got some yellow sprinkles to add some pizzazz to the pretzel chickies, but those sprinkles aren't necessary. For the equipment, we'll need a piece of wax or parchment paper and a little spoon. All right, now let's get started. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, pretzel bunnies it is. First, we're going to melt our white chocolate melts in the microwave. I usually set my microwave for 30 second intervals at 50% power, stirring until it's smooth, but every microwave is different and you might need to add a few seconds or take off a few seconds. Remember in kindergarten when they taught us how to color in between the lines? Well, let's go back to being five again. And we're gonna drop about a teaspoon of white chocolate in between the pretzel. It's as simple as that, just filling the pretzel with a small amount of white chocolate. Now we're gonna have to lift up our spoon at some point and it may add a tiny peak to the pretzel. So to try to avoid making too large of a peak, I'm gonna try to smooth out the white chocolate with the back of my spoon so it's a relatively even surface. And then I'll raise my spoon at the edge of my white chocolate line. Voila! Let's go ahead and add more white chocolate to the rest of our pretzels. Now that my white chocolate pretzels are pretty solid, we're gonna pipe on the pink parts of the bunny first. I've melted my pink chocolate melts the same way I melted my white chocolate, but now I'm gonna scoop it into the corner of a small Ziploc bag and squeeze out the remaining air. And when cutting the tip of the bag, make sure you trim off only the tiniest corner because we wanna make sure we have full control of how much pink comes out and we only need a small amount. Now to add some color to these cutie pads. Pipe on a tick mark about a quarter of an inch long to the middle of each ear on the bunny. Add a small pink dot to the center of your bunny to act as the nose. Okay, 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 I'm starting to see the bunny face. I'm liking it. Next, we have to add the whiskers and the eyes, and to do that, we've gotta melt our black chocolate melt. Scoop your black chocolate into a Ziploc bag, trim the tiniest corner, and pipe on three small lines coming out from the right side of the nose of the bunny, about a quarter of an inch long, and do the same to the left side as well. And last but not least, the eyeballs. Place two black dots above the nose for the eyes. You can make the eyes as big or as small as you'd like. I'm gonna make mine the same size as I did the nose. Bunnies are complete. 
I'm gonna let these pretzel bunnies stand at room temperature on the wax paper for about 30 minutes to let the chocolate set completely, but it's perfect timing because we can now move on to our pretzel chickies. Just like we did with the white chocolate on the pretzel bunnies, we're gonna go ahead and melt the yellow chocolate melts for the interior of the pretzel. While that's in the microwave, let's set out our pretzels. This time, we're gonna lay them on the wax paper sideways. You'll have to imagine that this will be the beak and these will be the little chick's feet. I've got my mini chocolate chips, my sprinkles, I am set. Back to kindergarten we go. We're gonna drop a teaspoon dollop of yellow chocolate in the center of the pretzel Spread it around evenly with the bottom of the spoon in between the lines of the pretzel and this time we want that peak from lifting up our spoon. We want to give our little chick that texture for his wing. At this point I like to add some yellow sprinkles. Again, the sprinkles aren't necessary. In fact, you'd be able to see the wing better without the sprinkles. Let's add the eye of the chickadee dee dee. You're gonna place a mini chocolate chip upside down slightly above where the beak goes. Let's go ahead and repeat this entire process with the rest of the pretzels. All we have to do is add our orange beak. Using the same process as earlier, I've dropped the orange chocolate into a Ziploc bag cut the corner, and now I can squeeze a bit harder than before and pipe on a thick line for the beak, again about a quarter of an inch long, extending that orange line into the yellow chocolate. chicks are done! Oh, I'm loving the sprinkles. It adds a cute flair. Once again, I'm gonna let these pretzel chicks stand at room temperature on the wax paper for about 30 minutes to let the beak and the yellow chocolate set completely. Now since we started with the pretzel bunnies, it's only fair that we eat the pretzel chicky first, right? Cheers! Mmm. <laughs> Now I know I said the sprinkles aren't necessary, oh, but they sure do add that extra sugary crunch to the pretzel and the milk chocolate. And I taste the semi-sweet chocolate chip too. It complements the milk chocolate melting morsels very nicely. Now I'm gonna be completely honest and say if I found these inside my Easter eggs instead of the milk chocolate candy that you get at the store, woo, I would be on cloud nine. Thanks everyone for tuning into this week's PLB video tutorial. Hey, if you give these pretzel bunnies and pretzel chickies a go, feel free to post your photos on Instagram or Twitter and tag Pretty Little Bakers. You can also leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about sprinkles versus no sprinkles, or if you were adventurous enough to try that orange starburst or any other variation for the beak, you are my hero. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Have a happy Easter.